are you doing? I hope that you are doing well. I hope your Monday is coming up all right. Because I think this video will go up today. Today is on a Monday. So yeah, and it sits in the morning and I want to make breakfast. Though this is a meal that I usually make for brunch, but since I don't even think I'll be making lunch today in this house, I'll just make this and I will be done with it. I want to make pan fried potatoes with bacon and French beans. So let's do it guys. Let's get into the cooking. So guys, these are the potatoes that I'm using for my breakfast and some were really big so I had to slice them into half and yeah these are the potatoes i'll be using so i want to boil them so i'll put them in this area put a little bit of salt and boil them for around 15 minutes until a fork can go through so let's do that As my potatoes is boiling, I'm going to be making my bacon and I want to drain the oil from the bacon. And I have used 8 pieces of bacon. I don't know whether that is enough but we will work with what we have. And I have sliced them. I have cut them into small slices. I want to make them crispy, so I want to drain off the excess oil. My bacon are ready now and I want to set it to set it aside so that I can make the onion and then take on my potatoes. So let's do that. And this is how it's looking. And it seems like it didn't have, it didn't leave a lot of oil on the pan. So I'm going to add a little oil on the pan so that I can fry my pot, my my onions. So let's set the bacon aside. To add a little oil on the pan on the same pan that I have used for my bacon and then I'm gonna add in my onion I have used two red onions so you can use the white one I actually love using the white one so I'm going to, to try this one but I'm not going to wait for it to burn or to turn golden brown so I'm just going to to it for it to to turn whitish and as my onion is getting ready we check on the potatoes so my potatoes are ready as you can see a fork can pass through so and I think it has overcooked a little bit so I'm going to pass it under cold water to stop the cooking this is my potatoes I am passing it under cold water though it has already overcooked I said 15 minutes and I think I got carried away but we move we move so let me slice the potatoes so this is how my onions look and this is the color I was 
looking for so I'm going to set them aside so that I can use them later to cut the potatoes but mine have overcooked make sure you boil yours for 15 minutes mine have definitely overcooked so i don't think they will bring in the results that i want but we move <laughs> so i'm going to cut them in the same size Make sure you boil them just that a fork can pass through, not more than that. Because if you boil them more than that, you will definitely got not, not get the results that you want. I think I will have to remake these ones in another video so that you can see what I mean. But since we are already here, we move. We work with what we have. Next time, we will check on them to make sure that they don't overboil. So, that is it. So, let's put them in the pan. In the same pan that I used to saute the onions, I'm going to add in a little bit of butter. I won't use a lot, so this one should be enough. And then I'm going to melt the butter and then add in my potatoes. So let's do that. Remember my potatoes have overboiled, so, but we will use them. If I hadn't overboiled them, I would have sliced them. I would have sliced them in the same size, but that was impossible because some are already starting to smash. Also, sometimes I don't peel my potatoes, but in this case I had to peel them because they were a little bit muddy. Actually, unpeeled potatoes work best for this, but remove. Just make sure you don't overboil your potatoes because if you boil your potatoes, it's going to turn into a total disaster like mine. So avoid being like me. And I don't know how I overboiled them. I think they got overboiled when I was making the bacon and I totally forgot about them. So... That is that. And I want every potato to touch the pan because I want it to caramelize on the bottom. I want it to become, I want them to become, yeah, I want them to absorb the butter. Yeah, like that so so that is it
So guys, I forgot to film what I did. I added garlic to the potatoes and then I added salt. And after that, I added in my bacon as you can see and my onion and I give it a proper stir. And this is how it's looking now. Just make sure you don't overboil your potatoes. If you don't overboil your potatoes, you will have perfect results. So this is it. I will switch off the the heat so that it can cook at a very low heat because already my potatoes are starting to smash so that I can make the greens. My greens have chopped one onion and I'm going to use just kidogo oil. Actually, that is enough. And I will saute it and then add my French beans. So let's do that. In the meantime, in the meantime, my potatoes are ready. And guys, this is how they are looking. They are delicious. These ones are, are very delicious. The only mistake that I made is I overboiled the potatoes. But we move. So let me add fresh dania to the potatoes and that will be it for the potatoes so i'll add in my dania like that you can also add cheese but i don't have that and then my onion in my onion i'm going to add salt and it's almost ready because I don't want it to, to burn. I don't want to turn golden brown. I just want it to be translucent because anyway I'm making green so it's yet to be that so I will wait for a couple of minutes and then I will add my green. So my onion is Ready. So I'm going to add in my fresh beans and carrots because that is the vegetables that I have. This is a good start. Remember I added salt to the onion so I don't have to do that again. Give it a proper stir. And for this one, I have used just dog oil, just dog oil. So I'm going to cover it up. I'll cover it and I'll be back after five minutes because of course this doesn't require a lot of time to cook. So I will be back after exactly five minutes so this one is ready too and that is our breakfast for today and these are our potatoes we are having potatoes and greens and by the way guys i want to do a video on a whole week of breakfast show you what i make for breakfast every day so if you are interested let me know on the comment section below and we will get the video going like five days of breakfast what i eat for breakfast from monday to maybe friday or even sunday let me know what you think and what you want and i will make it happen so our breakfast is ready let me plate it and i will be right back so guys this is our breakfast for today we have the potatoes and the bacon and we have the greens if you decide to try out the recipe make sure you don't overboil your potatoes because that one will be a total disaster make sure your potatoes aren't overboiled so that you can caramelize them on all the sides because this is what you should have the brownish color is what you should be having on all the sides but because mine was starting to smash i wasn't able to do that if you want me to redo the recipe for you i will do it in the what i eat for breakfast in a whole week if you want that video so that is it 
and thank you so much for watching have a great monday or whatever time you will be watching this bye